summer of 2009, I guess, when we suddenly realised that the car parks that we had weren't big enough to cope with the amount of traffic that we had. So we've kind of been designing, planning, um, thinking about where where we could build a hub, and then putting the plans together, looking for money, and actually building it. Yeah, I came out here about a year ago, but I didn't know you had this new car pack, so that's why I was late, because I was waiting down at the other car pack. But yeah, yeah, I was here about a year ago, it's alright, isn't it? It's all right. I'm not a big trail centre man, to be honest, but as far as trail centres go, this is about as good as it gets. It's right, it's right, it's, it's every bit as good as the, like, your 70 days stuff, on life, isn't it? It's a good introduction, isn't it? Right, you don't want sort of five or six year old kids going, jumping out in the peaks or out like that, it'll go a bit pleasure. This is, yeah, a good introduction in the mountain biking, isn't it? So yeah, and it's like the new open thing up there is spot on, spot on. Right, right. I'm delighted with what we've, what we've built so far. It's, I kind of still see it as a work in progress. So every, every day I come to work, I see things that, that need doing and things that I'd like to change. Um, so it's kind of, you know, it's, on, it's ongoing. Okay, we're not made of sugar, are we? Right, let's get on with it. Go for it. Well, we've had the official opening today. We've opened the new skills loop. Um, which has lots of little trail features on, uh, drops and some jumps, and some rollers, and a log rides, all sorts of stuff to help you hone your technique. I could sail a ship around the world on a tank of your love, move stars and planets from above. First descent um, called the Snake, which is a lovely flowing blue descent, lots of nice berms and corners, and really nice to link the trail together and really good opening for the trail. I hope put some money into the Oak Line, I've had some of the uh, corners reshaped, um, that's riding really nicely at the moment. The support does in a lot of other ways as well, they're always keen to get involved and bringing people like Guy Martin for our opening, um, really appreciate that. of giving Gisborne something a little bit different. A lot of people know that the trails are being built and maintained by volunteers. Um, and I think that's given it a bit more of a, a rider orientated input. So far around about 20% probably been built by volunteers. Um, it's about three, three kilometers. Though we do get quite good feedback some of the most popular sections of the builds that the volunteers have actually built. So home bake is the first section we've built, which is a nice twist, twisty bit through the trees and the bit we've just finished swoopy, that's also getting rave reviews at the moment. So some of the more signature sections, certainly on the lower loop, have been built by hand. Trail, do trail maintenance, um, do skills rides, all sorts of stuff. A lot of work behind the scenes as well. Without the volunteers, the trail wouldn't be what it is today. 